What's going on guys, this is Aaron. This channel is called Hotel Delta, bringing you all things two wheels with an emphasis in Harley Davidson's. We just got 20, 2023s, and we're gonna take a look at some of these bikes, go over them. Uh, today, right now, we're gonna check out the uh, two-tone Street Glide Special in bright billiard blue and billiard gray with black finish. It's also got a red pinstripe in it. You guys stay tuned, have any questions, hit me up below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next ride. So this is a brand new 23 Street Glide Special. Not much has changed other than the colors. And I'm gonna put a whole list of colors. This is the two-tone, what do they call it? Light billiard blue. And I think it's, I don't remember what they call the gray, but again, I'm gonna put it all up there for you guys. And yes, we're riding dirty. So let's go take a quick ride on this thing. All right, and cut. All right guys, if y'all have never seen me do one of these videos before, this is the shakedown. So part of a proper setup process is to put a few miles on these things, make sure everything is A-OK -okay on the bike, make sure everything functions as it should. If we incur any issues, we tell the tech, the tech will reassess, take it out again, which very rarely happens. But this bike obviously is not broken, so I'll be short shifting. I'll be taking it easy on the brakes because, again, part of the braking process is getting those brakes taken care of as well, bedded in. So yeah, just uh, yesterday we got 20 brand new 2023s, which is kind of a game changer for us. Nice getting a bunch of bikes in. A lot of the new colors. I told everybody up front, I was like, man, just uh, don't don't judge the colors whenever you see them online. Harley is notorious for the computer generated images that we see online and the colors don't quite look as bright, as vibrant. You don't see in the metal flakes and the details in it. The bikes come in and oh my goodness, this color is great, this color is great. And uh, that's definitely been the case. The one I haven't seen yet is the black and yellow. I, I've heard that it's pretty good looking in person. But again, I have not seen it in person yet. I know when you see it online, it's uh, it takes you back a second because, man, black and yellow kind of limits the kind of person looking for that bike. But uh, when I see it in person, we'll do a couple quick walk, walk arounds. I will try to cover every new bike as they come in. Obviously, these are the rolled over models. Not much has changed on these. Street Glide Special, it's pretty much just the color. Nothing alarming, still the same radio setup, same motor, nothing really new on it other than the colors. People, you know, one of the great debates, and I've had videos on this, is, you know, Road Glide or Street Glide, which one do you prefer? I always tell everybody if I was going to buy one, I'd buy a, a Road Glide. But man, a stock Street Glide is really comfortable. It's actually, a stock Street Glide is more comfortable than a stock Road Glide. The bars on a stock Road Glide just have too much pullback, and I uh, constantly whine about that. Stock Street Glide bars, a little bit better position, quite honestly. So guys, again, uh, all the bikes that we've gotten so far are the rollover models. We have not seen anything new. We will not see anything new until on or after January 18th 10 a.m. when the new stuff finally premieres online anybody that's in the area feel free to swing on by we will be doing an event with food beverages big projector seeing what's new taking a look at the anniversary models we are very excited to see that always excited to see the new stuff this will be my first anniversary year working at the dealership and I know that always brings a little bit of an excitement they do some really cool limited edition anniversary models they're usually number plated have their own special decals emblems on the bikes and then again if they change anything anybody who watched uh, my last video on the 23s as they were coming out we mentioned 
you know there was a promo video going around Instagram some people pointed out the fact that the uh, the freewheeler did not make the cut but if you watch that promo it's a, it's a really quick clip and you have to slow it down at the end you can tell it's a freewheeler so I don't know what they're doing to the freewheeler kind of weird that they're changing anything on it when they didn't change anything on the tri-glide maybe they made it a little more hot rod like maybe they give it a little more motor who knows so the freewheeler is not dead just gonna have to wait till the 18th and see what they did to it I don't know who set this up we're gonna pull this bike in one of the last things we do is uh, check the oil on them make sure the oil is good then we'll pull it back get it detailed get it on the show floor so you guys can come take a look at it always nice pulling in with an audience you guys have any questions hit me up below please like and subscribe more rides more walk arounds covering all the 23s coming up all right guys brand new 2023 this is the bright billiard blue slash billiard gray with black finished motor this is a $2,500 paint option let's check it out so brand new 2023 Only thing that changed on the 23s is the color. No other major changes. Let's look at the big radio that came out in 19. Same wheel since 20. This one does have RDRS. And you can see whenever we set up the bike, we also added the four point docking hardware. Just gonna try to get you guys some detailed videos of the 22s. You see the blue out in the sun. It's kind of hard to tell even in here with their nice LEDs, but there is some metal flake in there. It seems to be just about everybody's favorite, this blue and gray with a red pinstripe. I wouldn't put it at the top of my list, but it is a very good looking bike. Kind of gives a nod to some of the older CBOs with this paint scheme. If you guys have any questions, hit us up below. We're still rocking the LED Daymaker up front, incandescent turn signals front and rear. Got the chopped engine guard, 114 motor. Six and a half inch GTS display. That's about it. You guys have any questions? Again, hit us up below. Please like and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of these bikes, so stay tuned.